Man, I am so sick and tired of this. It seems like every single day, somebody is either saying somebody has surpassed Michael Jackson or the closest one to Michael Jackson. First, it was Justin Timberlake. Then it was Usher. Then it was Chris Brown. Then it was Beyonce. Then it was Drake. And now they saying Taylor Swift. And all these rap niggas and these podcasters, I'm talking about Cameron, talk about Drake. Then you got Shannon Sharp talking about Taylor Swift. You got Charlemagne talking about a punk ass Torre talking about Beyonce. Then you got the hipster cornball white crowd talking about Justin Timberlake or Justin Bieber. Man, let me tell y'all something. Most of these niggas haven't even surpassed Bobby Brown. Don't sleep on Bobby. Most of these guys, y'all probably don't even have two dope albums equal to the Bobby album or Don't Be Cruel. So let's stop right there for one. Because at the end of the day, Michael Jackson will always be the standard. We're talking most records sold to this day. Thriller. We're not talking no punk ass streams. We're talking when you had to literally and physically drive to the shows. You had to physically buy the record. We're talking the most influential. We're talking trendsetters. One of the most sampled artists in this planet. Did you feel a movement when Chris Brown dropped an album? Did you feel a movement when Drake dropped his recent album? Michael Jackson's tours, albums, rollouts felt like movies. This was the only man that could run an ad. I think during the Super Bowl for black and white, I believe. It could have been something, another football thing. But he was popular enough to run commercial ads for his video. Possibly the GOAT Super Bowl performance. Where is Drake's off the wall of Thriller? You seen anybody faint over Justin Bieber? And when, I'm talking about anybody faint on Usher over Usher when he saw Usher at the uh, at the Super Bowl. See, Michael Jackson popped at a time where things was organic. There was no social media manipulated the numbers like today. You had to just like I said earlier, you had to physically and go in real time to support him. That means buying his merch, the 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 beaded coat. The glove, the moonwalk. None of these dudes have even a signature. What's Chris Brown's signature? What's Usher's signature? They don't have none. They're babies to Mike. So all these niggas saying this shit is just for clicks and views. What's Taylor Swift's signature move? I wait. Come on, man. We got to get real. What's Beyonce's signature move? Everybody loves saying who and who surpassed Michael Jackson, who and who support. They just saying it in the flavor of the month because it brings traffic to their channel. That's all that's all about. But if you really get into the semantics of things, none of these people can touch Mike. Not even Prince. And I love Prince. So I just don't want to get that off my chest, man. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Subscribe, hit the like button, and there is nobody touching Mike. And I'm out.